This week's Mind Espresso is about creating moments and memories. And it's through the lens of the book, The Power Moments by Dan and Chip Heath. Now in it, they argue, we don't remember these full length movies of our lives. We remember snippets. We remember little captions. We remember moments. And you know, they talk about the example of Disney. Most of Disney is not a fun experience. You spend a lot of time waiting in line, in the sun, paying too much for food, baby carriages everywhere, stuffed on a monorail, all those things. But you're there for the moments. They also use the example of the Magic Hotel in Los Angeles. Kitschy phones, not a great hotel, but booked all the time. Why? Because they have moments throughout your experience that make it memorable. And they also use the example of Southwest Airlines, right? Who really likes flying economy class? Southwest Airlines creates moments so that you remember them differently than you do another airline. So we remember these peaks. We remember the pits. And we remember the transitions when we go from one state to another. And there are four different ways that we remember these, as they argue in the book. One is elevation, moments of heightened experience. Another one is deeper connection. Did we go through a struggle together? Did we have a meaningful moment together where we bonded and we were in the same boat? Or pride. Did we have an experience where we overcame something and we realized a better self? And finally, insight or aha moments, as, as you know, a lot of people talk about these aha moments. I call them oh wow and oh shit moments, right? You remember the oh wows. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. I can do something completely different. Or the oh shit moments like, oh my God, I didn't know this before. I got to stop doing this. Now, as we think about this and we think about these moments in our lives, you can shape the way we remember things. And I'll also throw in that you can shape past experiences. How? By reframing those moments in a positive light. If, if you had a tough experience sometime in your background, reframe that as a pride moment or an insight moment or a connection moment or an elevation moment. And just think about the frame of it differently and that'll help you take past memories and create powerful moments from memories that may not have been so great. So what's the big takeaway here? We're all gonna go through tough times. 2020 has certainly shown us that this year has been tough, but in it, there have been moments. Look at those peaks, fill the pits, make powerful transitions through elevation, connection, pride, and insight, and certainly over the holidays. Think about moments with your family or your friends where you can create elevation moments or connection moments or moments of pride or moments of insight, and that is this week's Mind Espresso.